Hi everyone! For today's video, I wanted to talk about aging in Lolita fashion. I have recently turned 30 years old and I have been wearing Lolita fashion since 2005, making this year the 16th year that I have been wearing Lolita fashion, which is over half of my lifetime. So I feel like I'm at a point where I can talk about aging in Lolita fashion and where I actually see myself going in the future with this fashion. Before talking about my own experiences growing with Lolita fashion, I wanted to quickly talk about when are you too old for Lolita fashion? And my answer to that question is never. You are never too old to wear clothes that you love and adore, represent you and make you feel more like yourself. And I personally feel like this question comes up often in Lolita discussions because of society's expectations of age. At certain points in your life, society expects you to settle down, to get a real job, to raise children. And Lolita fashion can seem quite the opposite of what is expected of a normal member of society. I think it's really important to remember that Lolita fashion is a means of expression. It is a rebellious fashion at its core. I really don't think that we should be asking when are you too old for Lolita fashion. It's a question of at what point will you outgrow it and will it not be a part of your life anymore. It's really interesting to see the life cycle of a Lolita when you first discover the fashion and then you grow older. There are a lot of life events that come into play and either you will continue to wear the fashion or you will stop wearing it. At the end of the day, you are human and these clothes are just a vehicle in expressing yourself and being true to your own self. It's a long-winded way to say that you're never too old for Lulu fashion and that society will always expect something else from you. So let's take a trip down my own memory lane. Since I started wearing Lula fashion at a younger age and how I have grown throughout the fashion itself. At the beginning, I was very much a lone Lolita. I made my own clothes and Mary Magdalene was my inspiration. I looked at Lolita clothes as a costume at that time, which was kind of interesting. And as I grew older and came into my university years, that's the period of time where I actually stopped wearing Lolita fashion. School is more important than what I was wearing. It wasn't until the tail end of my university years that I really started to delve back into the Lolita fashion and that was when I decided to take part in the Lolita fashion community. I participated for several years and at that time continued to collect and purchase Lolita fashion. But we are now here at this time where I feel very comfortable with what I'm wearing and very happy with the amount of clothes that I have managed to collect over the years. The way I look at Lolita clothes now is quite different from when I was younger. I look at these as a representation of myself and a rebellion against society, expectations, and norms. I never would have thought that is how my thinking would have changed towards Lolita fashion. As a younger self, I would have just thought Lolita was everything and Lolita will be everything, but now I just see Lolita as a small facet of my own personality. While Lolita still has importance, it's not as important compared to other things in my life, such as my own health and my own growth as a person. So looking towards the future, I actually don't foresee myself stopping Lolita fashion, but I do see myself participating less in the community. As my own life goals have changed, I definitely value a lot more experiences and, and things other than purchasing Lolita clothes. If anything, it will just be another facet of my life but it's not a main focus. I have really slowed down on purchasing Lolita fashion and at this point, I am focusing more on curating my wardrobe to best represent myself. It's really interesting to see my own spending habits have changed over time from just making my own clothes to purchasing small things here and there to buying and selling things consistently and at this point where I am just purchasing things and keeping things for longer periods of time. I think in my future, I will see myself as a little hoarder of Lolita fashion items, and I will be just collecting things that sentimentally mean a lot to me. It's also really interesting that you can see my progression from the beginnings of this YouTube channel till now, and how I've become a lot more comfortable on camera. So I hope you found this video interesting in terms of my own experiences growing up in Lolita fashion and how my own perspectives have changed about it. I'd love to hear your perspectives and thoughts on aging in the little fashion and 
what Lolita fashion really means to you at this point in your life. Thanks for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!